My dear friends in the Lord, since my arrival here as bishop seven years ago, I continue to be humbled by your generosity and amazed as to how much we have accomplished through our praying and serving together as a family. Each year, the annual Bishop's Appeal unites all 77 parishes and the four missions of our diocese, drawing us together to accomplish wonderful works that help change lives. The Lord is my light and my salvation. To be united with Christ, to walk always in the light of the Lord, is to open our soul to the light of grace. Each year, the diocese uses the annual Bishop's Appeal to help the parishes and the diocese itself become centers of light for the world. The various works and ministries supported by the appeal are works of justice and charity, reflecting God's own desire to make us his cooperators, people who reflect God's light. People like those who help in St. Vincent de Paul Place, giving food and shelter to those in need. We provide um, basically daytime shelter for anyone who needs it. Um, of course, in addition to the daytime shelter, we offer um, food, uh, comfort, compassion. Last year, I got laid off from my job. We got evicted from our apartment. We had nothing. We were living in a tent. Chicken or fish? Thank you. On a daily basis, we serve approximately 150 breakfasts and uh, close to 200 lunches, um, and we do that six days a week. Um, in addition to that, in the evening time, we also serve a hot meal for those people who are staying across the street at the no-freeze shelter. Everybody that donates here are wonderful people. Uh, there's, you know, they, they care. They care what happens to the American people. No one asks anything in return. The volunteers that come in here, they volunteer, they give their hearts out, they smile, they support, they'll shake hands. Your donations to the annual Bishop's Appeal make all this possible. We have to pay for utilities. Um, we rent the space, so we also have to pay for rent. And without uh, the uh, Bishop's Appeal, we just couldn't, we just couldn't do it. St. Vincent de Paul Place has been saving lives for many years now, and I consider myself to be one of them. Today, I'm in an apartment. I have furniture, which I got through Catholic Charities in the St. Vincent de Paul Place. And it's just amazing. It's like, I just can't tell you enough how much this, this organization has helped me and my wife. I would not be alive today if it weren't for St. Vincent de Paul Place. They gave me back my self-worth and made me who I am today, a better person. Haiti has once again been thrust onto the world stage as a result of unimaginable tragedy and terror. I pray that this time the world will take action the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that ravaged Haiti on January 12, 2010 has claimed hundreds of thousands of lives and has destroyed countless homes, churches, seminaries, schools, and other buildings, and has left millions without the most basic necessities of life. Haitian Ministries is one of those agencies that have had feet on the ground in Haiti for years, years before the earthquake. We're coming up with creative ways to get provisions into help these people in Haiti, make sure that our partners, the uh, clinics, the hospitals, the schools, the um, various organizations that we uh, assist in Haiti continue to get the funds they need from us to both get through this very difficult time and then to continue on into the future. We are a united family in that concern. Your gift to the ABA helps our brothers and sisters in Haiti by providing resources, support, and compassion through our diocesan Haitian ministry and Hospice St. Joseph in Haiti. Everything that Haitian ministries does has been destroyed. Um, Everything we've worked hard for for 25 years that's in Haiti has been destroyed other than the people that we work with. If there was ever a time to 
look into your hearts and think about what you might be able to do right now in the aftermath of a huge crisis, this would be the time to think about it, contemplate and do the most you can to uh, assist the annual Bishop's Appeal. And here in the